Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. Today we've got a buck knife to look at. This is the uh, Buck Caesar T Responder. And as you can see, it's made in the USA. That's good to know. Uh, this is a uh, this knife is a collaboration between Tops and Buck, and uh, you know those are two excellent excellent companies, and so a collaboration between them is bound to produce an excellent knife. It comes with the um, the Buck famous forever lifetime warranty. Warranties the knife to the original purchaser for the lifetime against uh, defects. The knife ships in a ballistic nylon sheath, which is uh, molly compatible. It can be worn. Uh, it can be worn on the belt, you know, this way. Uh, it does unsnap, and it can be attached to, uh, you know, to uh, molly locks or molly gear. It snaps tight. It does have a D ring here, so it can be attached that way. Uh, the the uh, flap is adjustable with a uh, an adjustable um, flap latch here. It opens with a, a, a pressure lock like that. The knife comes out. It is a folding knife and the knife uh, does come with a pocket clip so you know you can just wear it as a in your pocket if you want or you can you can wear the sheath. Uh, use it that way if you like whichever. The knife opens easily with a thumb stud. It's got dual thumb studs on it. Technical specs on this knife. That is a three and a half inch blade. I made a 420 high carbon steel. It does have a hollow grind here. It does have kind of a, a, a tanto point, a little bit there. Uh, it's sort of a drop point, tanto point combination. It's a great wide utility blade. Uh, it's a good strong blade. Uh, the handle here is made of G10. The overall length is eight and three quarter inches, and the weight is seven ounces. Take a close up look on that blade. Uh, like I was saying, it does have that uh, tanto type look at the front, uh, which is certainly makes gives it a tough a tough tip. The tanto point is certainly is great on that. The tip, though, is excellent for piercing. Uh, it does have a swedge on the top to aid in that, but it's got a good needle sharp, straight ahead uh, point, right directly in the midline of the knife. It does come with these uh, wire bending jigs here, built into the blade, and it does have jimping on the top. Okay got a bead blast finish. The handle is G10, like I said. Steel liners. It is a liner lock knife. And the liner lock has, has jimping on it as well to aid you in, in your you know movement of that. Moving that out of the way. Dual thumb studs gets the knife open fast. There's the, the pocket clip there and that is reversible to the other side. You can reverse it to the other, the other side if you want and those those screws are tapped all the way into the liners. So you are you are tapping into steel when you screw those screws in. The knife is uh, is sold as a, an emergency responder knife, and and that's because of a couple of things here. It's got it does have a glass breaker tip right here at the back, and that that's a uh, you know good for tempered glass, breaking glass. There, it does have a seat belt cutter here. It's got a lanyard hole, which is also a hex wrench on this side. Okay. And uh, then it does have those, you know, these wire bending holes here if you want to use that. It's got a, uh, an oversized pivot. And I always, like an, I always like to see a nice oversized pivot because that, then you know that that blade is, is the, the wider that is, the, the more stable that holds the blade. And that's going to make a rock solid uh, 
blade uh, hold on there. Keep it nice and strong and sturdy. The clip has a, a yeah, that's a that's a tight clip, so that'll keep it firm in your pocket or on your vest. It's got jimping at the back here. You know, if you need a reverse hold like that, that works well. It's got a finger choil up in the front. It's got a flow-through design so dirt or debris won't collect in the knife. That's a hard-use knife. It's, it's a, a, a good utility-style hard-use knife. You could use it every day. You don't need to be a first responder, of course. This is, this is a good knife for anybody to have. You know, a good one to have in your car or uh, keep in your toolbox. Uh, good to carry. You could EDC this knife with the bell clip, uh, you know, or you could attach it like you know, like I was saying to to something with the with the sheath. That 420 high carbon steel is a, a great proven steel from Buck, and it's been given a super fine edge. Wow, ah, that's a that's a good choice. One-handed use. That's a good knife. If you're looking for a, a first responder utility type tool uh, or EDC knife, that's one to think about. All right. Well, thanks a lot. I'll see you again.